I don't know if you can actually see how many T's are in close proximity to him. Everyone ready for the fight. Walco with one finds the flick shot and leaves Dumao in for a fright. Well, he's been overthrown. Goodbye, boys, as everyone's down to just Lato. Oh, he's trying to hold on to the stairs, Davey. He's being pushed. Squeaky bum time, and he is going to fall over to Hexed. You perfect. Jessgo.net está de volta e todos que utilizarem o cupom ASSO no mês de setembro vão ganhar 40% de bônus. E concorrer uma faca daga sombria e mais 3 a casa nenhum Revolution. Mais de mil reais de prêmio para você. Serão enviados para 4 usuários diferentes do cupom ARTS. Utilize o cupom no Jessgo.net e preencha o formulário. Os dois links vão estar aqui na descrição do vídeo. It's very important to me, as you know, because I'm never wrong. Important smoke. So, you know, so far, in the level of importance, this round is only getting more the longer it goes on. Less time left, less players alive as well. Trades galore. Everyone's being fragged. Three HP left. Hex does need to re-aggress towards the side hall, and that's exactly what he does. But the timing just doesn't work for him. He doesn't push far enough forward, and Phelps and Jack are going to be slipping their way into B. Chop. Forced off of the angle with a Molotov. He'll back up towards the AC, but can he cool off the tease into this round? No, Taco. Too hot to handle in the close encounter, but now too hot, literally. Lato burns into a crisp. The bomb's got to be planted. If he comes off it, they'd lose the round. Luckily, Barton's holding it down. Oh, the tap. Straight to the Edowalco. See you later, my friend. All on Hexed here. An unlikely round to achieve. A 1v3. He'd have to thief this one from their back pocket. But I don't think he really can. Deciding whether or not he wants to go for the jump round, gets the reload off after the frag, looks for the peak on the site, spams down. But his head will be popped and God sent. Push down the ramp. Wow, going to be leading the charge with the MP9. Nice spam onto the cranium of Phelps. Knocks off his noggin, causes them to back up. So this time around, a fast pick for the CTs, but the same can be said from Taco. He is the pain train. Oh, that is sick, dude. The follow-up frag on top of the box and certainly on top of the world when it comes to dispatching CTs. Dumal does a good impression as well towards middle and leaves it down. And because to the of chop. that, they're relying on Taco getting these openings towards B. And I mean, dude, when you think about it, like, yeah, sometimes Taco's just going to get the opening pick and you're going to run into the site, but it can't happen every single round. And that's exactly what we see from them as, oh, the nade just missing, not going to be able to find Barton. But man, this is what I'm talking about. It's so hard for them to find any of the openings. And this round, of course, as soon as I start saying it, they find openings literally across the entire map. Ooh. Cracking this one wide. All right. Play round on yellows. It's hard to develop. They're smoking. Here's Taco's Ooh. opening pick towards middle. Big frag comes oh. in hard. Rips the head off of Wilco. CTs are all alive and they've just absolutely owned him. Hex is going to get the nade dumped on him by Doom out. Jitter, Wiz, and Chop are the only ones that are left alive. Jitter, what can he really do? Playing in the close angle. Flings himself out with the Glock. And it starts to get a bit gory here, Davey. He might be getting them one step closer to glory in the round. Big plays from Chop. Barton, Ooh. though, bites back with two sickeningly good USP shots. It's oh. all on Barton, and the man does it. Three frags, a hat trick to be remembered there. Stop the Molotov from forcing him out of position, and he could turn them a lesson. The school is in session on the B-bomb site, but they have an uprising, Davey. They fight back. Two frags, one for Chopper, one for Walco. Phelps in the smoke, peeking out. It's getting awkward, though. His teammate tries to flash to bail him out. The Molotov onto default. All the T's are low, but if you can't connect the shot onto them, it won't matter. Lato in a 1v4. Towards Sandbags, oh. Molotov should be coming out momentarily. That counter smoke forces him up top. He tries to look over. That's a head shot foul but he does get one before he goes that is unfortunately of course it's Wiz who gets bopped in the face as he jumps up on top of the sandbags taco oh my god oh. the hero of the first half returning for the second as he wakes up looking for that third deagle shot it's all on him one versus two they know exactly where he is counter molly comes out bomb is down if they peek him together multiple angles here one up top one from the bottom gonna be very difficult for taco to find anything but they don't they go one by one and they isolate the fights but he just can't find them just one body shot going david I mean, they have been keeping it going so far, but this is the first time we've seen this late round sort of aggression towards the A ramp from Godsent.
RBG conceded control, tried to go for the mid-round retake, but God sent ready, willing, and able to take those fights as Jitter does find one back onto Phelps, so he goes down. Now, they have to work their way up the ramp here, and they only have one Molotov, so they won't be able to throw that towards the sandbags. Lato should be able to just survive here for as long as he wants, to be completely honest. RBG, their only real chance is to just walk into the A site and hope that nobody looks at them. It's not a great win condition, Jack, honestly. Yeah, it's just, it sucks for them. It's, it's, it's a tough spot. Yeah, I'm winnable. I'm winnable in terms of the battle of attrition. Just didn't have the manpower. Ooh, hang on a minute. I'll hold for now, just in case. Hexed. If he would have hit that second shot, there might have actually been a possibility that he could pop off here. He needs to find the frags. Three of them in the space of six seconds. They almost gave him the chance. He was barreling. Uh, it's not way. great. I mean, okay, first of all, that's a. Never mind. I take it back. I thought I thought that was something else. I was gonna say that that might have actually been the illegal Molly, but it wasn't. As Dumal finds the opening pick, and look how fast Hexed is through the window, but loses out to Taco. Taco again. He has been on point this entire game. T side, CT side makes no difference. The B site is his. The only illegal usage here is the illicit active. You have to think about these things. You know, keep an eye on your clock. And look, the see again, opening kill for Godsend. I mean, this is why you can't ignore the prophecies. You can't ignore magic. And Taco showing some of his major winning magic as he finds another opening kill. Phelps with one towards A, two towards A. Will he find the third? Hex using this one-way smoke is able to just about get one back, but Dumao finishes head towards him. A early. The smoke goes out. They can't smoke of their own. They run through. They've been spotted towards yellow. Walco, he's on 6 HP. This nade should end him, but Dumao will do it a tad bit quicker. Dashed out a HE of his own. So only four players left alive. They didn't commit to the push either, so they've held back. They're getting spammed, they're getting sniffed out. God sent know exactly what's going on. Oh yeah, Phelps spotted that player trying to go aggressive towards the side hall. Is able to just about win on the fight. Dumao there to quickly shut down Jitter as they tried to trade onto his teammate. Lots of spams coming out. God sent coming out on top of those spams. And this is a good position from Phelps to be in, knowing that RBG was going to be on a low buy, knowing that they weren't going to have all the utility they would want. Goes into that sandbag position, realizing they're just not going to be able to molly him out. They're not going to be able to properly clear it. And for, for that reason, he's able to play aggressively in that spot as now, yeah, this aggression towards the ramp. That should be all she wrote. Wiz, with a nice diesel shot, able to bring one back. Ooh, and yeah, he's just, he's so low, man. 11 HP. I mean... He's got the deagle, so theoretically, if you just shoot all four of them in the head once they all die, but of we course do they... see flashes, smokes raining out, vision completely impaired. But still, this is going to be the B hit. Taco, there with the AK, he'll slay onto the first. Oh, far away, does damage as well. The last bullet, divine intervention from Taco to tackle Chopper. Jitter, he'll reply with one on the Galil as well. Towards middle, we see him get tackled, and all it comes down to is big boy Barton. He will bombard them at the B site, blockades the entrance, wins the match.